Hello everybody, it, I am Matt and I do love to talk about pop culture. It is a, this is another episode of Matt Talks Pop Culture. We're back, we're back baby, we're back at it. We got Amanda with us today, say hi. Hi. So we got this, I'm excited for this, this is going to be a fun episode. I, I'm going to say for starters, you know nothing about what we're going to do here today. Yeah, no. You have absolutely no idea what I've thought of, correct? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so I got a fun, I got an activity that I think is going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to say, I don't know if this is going to be a two-parter or not, because I don't know how long this is going to take. It could take, this could take 20 minutes. This could take two hours. What? What are we doing? I don't know yet. So we're gonna we're gonna you don't start. Know what we're doing? I know what we're doing. So we each have a pen and paper. Uh, maybe you know if you're listening to us, maybe just uh, you know follow follow along in your head. So what I need you to do is I need you to write. Start at the top, and work your way down. I need you to write one, all the way down to fifty six. It's gonna fit on a pa- one piece of paper. Yes, it will. No, it won't. So we're just going to do that really quick. We should have maybe did that. 56? Why so many? Uh, Like, if it doesn't fit, just do as many as you can. And then if we have to do, like, two papers, we'll, 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 we'll do two papers, but... Well, how much space do we need? Not not a ton of space, but like I wouldn't, I I wouldn't double space it. So you might have to go like front, you might have to go front and back or. So let's see. Twenty-two. 27 but like can I like double like double column like how many like half the page yeah so that's fine so maybe uh maybe just do kind of like that because that you're not going to need that much space so we'll just do this really quick again maybe should have did this ahead of time my pen's dying this is a shitty i just tested all the pens in this Oop. drawer i guess we're uh the I... pens should have worked i tested all the pens in this drawer i maybe, guess we're maybe I... it worked and then now it's running out i guess we're clicking okay. the explicit box on this one trash pen <sighs> Dead pen. Oh my god. Don't you hate when pens just die? Yes. Not as much as when batteries just die. Well, the thing is, I tested every single pen in this house. And I got rid of all the deads. But evidently that one I so either missed you- or just... Didn't have a lot of ink. Yeah, so again, uh, I don't really know. Oh my god, okay, so we're gonna have to. I'm gonna need like three columns. That's fine, just, just write small. Just try to write a little small if you can. Yeah, don't you die too? Like you have lots of ink. You're just running out. Okay, one, two, three, four, fifty. I don't know how to count. Okay. One, yeah, just try to. I'll just have to write a little two. small in the end. That's okay. I got fifty-four. Tell me when you get to fifty-six. Yeah. So I had to do like that. Oh well. It is. It is what it is. So, yeah. Oh, uh, I guess uh, before that, couple uh, 
couple things to six? note. Yeah. Uh, so, my adventures in pop culture lately, uh, comic wise, I just this morning read uh, the second issue of Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. So far, I like it. You know, so the premise is basically that uh, the monster verse monsters start popping up in different cities in the DC world and we get a bunch of heroes basically a bunch of heroes get together and they have to break into groups and I guess they're each gonna tackle a different monster so cool premise so far I just redid Again, all the comics in our bedroom I'm only looking at comics back from 2012 <laughs> Yeah, me I'm too. So wrong. Me too. I was really behind. That's why I had to just start fresh because I was never going to catch up and I wanted to know what was going on like current stuff, so I had to just I had I had to just skip a bunch of stuff and maybe I'll go back. But uh yeah, Godzilla versus Kong was good. Um Incredible Hulk. I was an Immortal Hulk. I forget what issue. It was interesting. Hulk teams up with a new Ghost Rider, like a new World War II Ghost Rider. I should try to uh, write down what issues they are before so I could uh, better I'm, inform I'm still you. I'm reading the Grimm's Fairy Tales. Dear series. listeners, um, I li Grimm's Fairy Tales is good. I'm still reading some of those. Uh, gaming, haven't really played much in the world of gaming because I've mostly been playing Fortnite. So that's been occupying a lot of my time i've been playing a lot of fortnite we need to see if we can find the lego harry potter and finish it i don't think we ever finished it we never played like the free play and got every single thing i don't think we did the free play no i i think we did beat like the fun. main game but i don't think we did the free play yeah that was fun and then uh as far as like watching like what i've been watching you know like i'm always watching anime uh I, I finished off some stuff this weekend. What uh, this week? What did I watch? I watched. Oh, I watched season two of uh, Doctor Stone. Really digging that. So I don't know when I'm gonna start season three, but I did watch season two. Liked it a lot. Uh, I love me some Doctor Stone, man. I I love me some Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone is like uh like a like a. It's like a hidden gem. Like people just not really a hidden gem, but it's just something that people don't talk about enough. Like I don't see a lot of people talking about Dr. Stone, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I've been catching up on some Saint Seiya. Uh, you know, I'm just always getting into different stuff. I'm always watching different stuff. And I started Record of Ragnarok. So I started this one anime. It's called Record of Ragnarok. And it's what kind of and it's where all the different gods from all the different religions they want to eradicate the human race but then there's these valkyries and this one valkyrie convinces the gods to have a tournament where it's gonna be like uh like it's there's gonna be like i think seven fights right or no sorry there's gonna be 13 fights and whoever wins seven fights wins and basically the valkyries select historical figures so it's like each round is like a historical figure versus like a god so like uh you get to you see like adam from adam and eve and he fights like zeus and then thor is in there and then like jack the ripper fights hercules so it's like famous humans from history versus gods different gods from different religions it's wild it's wild but i started it i could not stop i threw i flew through season one uh so i'm getting a little into season two but yeah really really digging that uh, I finished Vinland Saga. I finished season. I say I say I finished. I finished season one of Vinland Saga. So I'm still really digging that. Still really enjoying that. I finally watched the Grammys. That's the only thing I watched this week. Grammys. Mhm. Mm was it good? Nah, there 
there's some drama between, I guess, Celine Dion and Taylor Swift. Um, I guess Taylor Swift kind of like snubbed Celine Dion on stage when she got her Grammy. So there was like a lot of controversy Good. about that. Because she was like hugging everybody, but then she didn't hug Celine Dion. Good. I wouldn't hug Celine Dion so, either. Backstage, she apologized and gave her a hug backstage. But um, Miley Cyrus did her live action uh, of Flowers. Um, she won a Grammy for that. Um, Billie Eilish won a Grammy for Bar the movie Barbie. I like Sandra. I like Billie. Barbie. I like Billie Eilish. I like her a lot. I like and her a lot. She performed the song from the Barbie movie. Um. And Ed Sheridan was there. Jay Z won a Grammy. He brought like his daughter Blue on stage, and it was like talking about like Beyonce, I guess, or something. That was pretty cool. Um, that's that's good. Yeah, that's, that's it was cool. alright. I like Taylor Swift. I like Billie Eilish, but yeah, that that's it. All right, I think it's time to get in this episode because he again, I really don't know how long it's gonna be, so. Quick, uh, just to sort of set the pace, uh, we both grew up in the 90s, right? Like, you were born a year after me. We were both 90s kids. And if you were a kid in the 90s, and you're gonna, as soon as I tell you what the idea is, you're gonna, you're gonna know why I, I came with this idea. But if you were a kid in the 90s like me, there's a good chance that you watched Goosebumps. Right? Yeah. Honestly, we watch it now together. Exactly. What we're doing today is we are going to rank every single episode of Goosebumps. I'm going to go through each episode and we're going to rank it from 1 to 56. And I can't see your paper and you can't see my paper. There's more than 56 episodes. There's... I'm going to explain that. Hold on. So it's we're like 12 seasons or hold, something. There's not that many seasons. Hold on. We're going to rank each episode from 1 to 56. I can't see what you're writing. You can't see what I'm writing and then at the end we'll read out our lists and we'll see how many we'll see how many we matched. Um now I don't remember all of them though. Like we've only seen don't some worry. of them recently. I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to dig back in your memory. I'll give you a little uh, plot of each episode just to kind of jog your memory. Now here's the caveat. I'm counting two parters as one episode. Okay. So like uh, okay, so like Attack of the Mutant, right? There's like it's a two-parter, like Attack of the Mutant Part 1 and Attack of the Mutant Part 2. Haunted Master. But it's technically, it, it's technically one story, so you can't have, like, oh, Part 1 of Attack of the Mutant is 7, and then Part 2 is, like, 50. So two-parters, I'm counting as one. So I'm going to go through it. But there's still more than 56, I feel. There's not. There's not. Don't worry. Don't worry. So we're going to go through it, 1 to 56. You're just going to, I'm going to tell you the episode, and you're just going to write down where you think it should be, and we'll see how many we, we match. So, all right, starting off, and, and I'm, I'm basically going through, like, uh, episode 1, ep season 1, episode 1, season 1, episode 2, season 1, episode 3, and so on and so forth. So, all right, season 1. We're, we're starting off with a heavy hitter, Haunted Mask Part 1. So this is, so remember, it's Part 1 and 2. So this is where Carly Beth puts on the mask. So this is where Carly Beth is tired of getting scared. She goes to the shop. She puts on the mask. Uh, I like this episode a lot, and... You can rank them on whatever you deem, like whatever your parameter is for how much you like it. So yeah, so haunted. Uh, 
All right. Next, uh, Cuckoo Clock of Doom. So this is what the episode where uh, the kid Michael it, he turns he twists the head on the cuckoo the the you know the bird that comes out of the cuckoo yeah, clock yeah, yeah. he twists the head and it keeps sending him back in time. We didn't see that one yet, have we? Well, I'm sure you probably you you must have watched it when well, you were younger. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I don't remember that one very. What's it called? Cuckoo? Cuckoo Clock of Doom. I sort of do like that episode. Why are you dying again? I do like that episode. Maybe it's the paper. I don't know. My, my pen keeps... This next one is a heavy hitter. Girl Who Cried Monster. Friggin' love that one. That's a heavy hitter. That's like my all time. Don't tell me. The whole. Don't tell me. Yeah, that's a really good episode. Um, so, for the listeners, if you're not familiar with this episode, it's uh, about a girl who it's the it's the boy who cried wolf but it's a monster and then it turns out the librarian actually is a monster and she catches him and then she tries to tell people and nobody will believe her all right episode five and six this is another two-parter remember counting as one welcome to camp nightmare Remember that episode? That's one with the camp counselor as a snake or something? Or? No, that's where uh, Saber, like there's Saber and the kids keep going missing and nobody believes him. Oh, okay. So yeah, like he keep, thinks that yeah, he's so, there. Okay. so like they, they keep disappearing and then the counselors are really mean. I'm not putting that much thought into where they're going it's just kind of like this is kind of like what I'm what I'm feeling at the time oh this is another this is another heavy hitter phantom of the auditorium and premise if you if you've seen phantom of the opera then you've seen this episode it's basically it's basically just Phantom of the Opera, but it's uh it's in a grade school. All right, episode eight piano lessons can be murder. That's where, that so that's where, uh, the kid, he's got, who's the kid, what's his name? Jerry. He's got, like, a really overactive imagination, so his parents put him in piano lessons, and then, uh, like, the dude is, like, grabbing his hands, and he's like, your hands, like, they're so perfect. And he, he's like, I want your hands. Oh, he cuts off his hands. Well, he doesn't, he tries to cut off his hands. He doesn't actually do it. Remember, these were for kids. Mm, okay, what is it called? Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. A lot of these have murder. All right, next, Return of the Mummy. So Gabe and his cousin, Sari, are trapped in a pyramid. They go, they, he goes to visit his uncle in Egypt. His uncle's like an archaeologist. They get trapped in the pyramid. 
they get chased around by a mummy. So Return of the Mummy. I like I like mummies. Anything with like a mummy in it, and you've got my endorsement. All right, are you ready for the next one? Night of the Living Dummy Part Two. Does that count, Part One too? There is no Part One. So Part One was there was a book, Night of the Living Dummy, Part One. But they never made it into an episode. So part two is where Amy uh, is a ventriloquist. And her dad buys her a new dummy that just so happens mm -hmm. to be slappy. And he kind of does he, he does stuff around her house. Oh, phone's ringing. Just ignore that. It'll go away. Uh, yeah, it's my dad. Probably. Alright, episode 11. My hairiest adventure. Larry Boyd and his friends try on an old bottle of instant tan, but they vanish. And Larry gets hairy. Okay, so that's... Uh, so that's the episode where they're like a, a rock band... And they put the tanning lotion on, and then he starts getting hairy, and then he thinks he's turning into a dog. He thinks him and his friends are turning into a dog. But the twist is they started out as dogs, but they went through an experiment to turn them into humans. So the tan is just turning them back into dogs. What is it called? My Hairiest Adventure. Cool. All right, next one. We got another two-parter. Stay out of the basement. Stay out of the basement. Do you remember uh, that one? Yeah. Yes, I yeah, love yeah. that one. Margaret suspects something's going on with her dad. She thinks her dad is turning into a plant. He's eating plant food. He's got leaves and twigs going out of him. His dad is a... Her dad's a scientist. We haven't seen that one recently. I or think it's on our PVR. I love that episode. Yeah. Well, don't tell me if you like it or not. Alright, next. It came from beneath the sink. Do you need more time? Or do you need more time? I already, I already, even though I already said it. That's the one with the, the thing from under the sink, right? Like the goo or something? It's a sponge. It's an evil sponge. All right. It's an evil sponge that grows bigger as it feeds off of negative energy. And then they defeat it by giving it, like, positive energy. Let's plug in a king. From beneath the sink. And uh, there's some fun guest stars. So Catherine Isabel stars in this episode. As Cat. Cat. That's the main character. Catherine Isabel. If you saw. What's that movie? Uh, Ginger Snaps. If you saw Freddy vs. Jason. She was in Freddy vs. Jason. She was the girl that. Uh, the one that kept smoking. Remember her boyfriend gets squished in the bed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, she was in American Mary. Cool. Next, say cheese and die. So, uh, can I can I blow your mind right now? Can I blow your mind right now? You were talking about Barbie. Greg. Greg Banks is a kid. He finds a camera. As he takes pictures of things, it shows the future, but it's always like a bad future. So like he takes a picture of his dad's car, and then when the picture develops, the car's all smashed. They get in a car accident later. Greg, ba Greg Banks is... Greg Banks? 
Greg Banks is played by Ryan Gosling. You did not know that, bro. You, no, I did not. You did not know that. I le- Yeah, so... I didn't know he started that young. There's a lot of famous people in Goosebumps. Alright, next. A Night in Terror Tower. So that's where uh, Sue and Eddie... The medieval one. Yeah, yeah, it's like the medieval one. They go on a trip to England. Oh. And then they... They, uh, they go through... They go back in time. What's it called again? A Night in Terror Tower. They go back in time... And then, you know, they get chased around by an executioner. All right. Episodes 18 and 19, The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Grady Tucker adopts a dog suspected of terrorizing the livestock by his family. Grady tries to prove that the dog is not responsible, but is shocked to find out that a real werewolf may be on the loose. What is that? Uh, the Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Another thing, too, like, I haven't watched all of these recently, so a lot of these I'm just going off of, like, how much do I remember enjoying this episode? Or how much... Do I remember enjoying it at the time? Alright, so that concludes Season 1. Season 2, be careful what you wish for. Samantha Bird, uh, she meets a, a witch. And the witch, the witch grants her three wishes. And of course... Every wish goes wrong. So like the first one, she wishes to be like the very best on her basketball team. But the witch makes her the best because she makes all the other players suck. All right, season two, episode two and three, Attack of the Mutant. Uh, so this is like a comic book episode. Skipper, he's got a comic addiction. And then he he finds the secret lair of the most evilest comic villain of them all. And then the comic villain turns out to be real. Adam West is in this episode. Really? I, th- mm-hmm. I thought so. I didn't. I wasn't sure. But... Bad hair day. Tim Swanson steals a bag of tricks from his favorite magician, Amazo, and finds himself unable to control the magic. So remember, the evil magician is turned into a rabbit. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the episode, he gets turned into a rabbit. Cool. All right. Episode five, the headless ghost. So this in this episode, uh, Dwayne and Stephanie, they're friends. I guess there's like a haunted house, and it's like a tour, and then you know like people pay to get a tour of the house where supposedly a kid got decapitated. They're pranksters, and they're always scaring people. And then they find out that maybe there's more to the house than what they thought. So. Alright, next episode. Go eat worms. So this is the episode where uh, Todd, he's obsessed with worms. He uses worms to pull pranks and stuff. And then, uh... It's, just, it's, it's, it's an episode about worms. Alright. 
you can't scare me. So uh, this is the episode where uh, these two kids, they keep trying to scare their female classmate, but she's not afraid of anything. Oh, yeah. And then at the end of the episode, there's mud men. Yeah, but she thinks that, like, they end up getting scared of a spider or something. Yeah, there there is one part where uh, they, they get trapped in a closet with a tarantula because they want to use the tarantula to scare her. But then they get trapped in the closet and the spider is crawling on them. All right, season two, episode eight, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Oh, that's a good one. Bro, don't tell me if it's a good one or not. I need to, I need to think There's about this so one. so much good ones. Like, I can't rank them. Like, they're all, like, number, f like, one. I feel like I've maybe already, I feel like I've maybe already made a mistake. Was it Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes? Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Lawn gnomes are fucking scary as hell. Okay, they're scary as hell. They're creepy. All right. Episode 9, Ghost Beach. Jerry and Terry Sadler visit relatives who live in a house beside a beach where they hear rumors of a ghost haunting a nearby cave. Mm, I don't remember that one too much. We didn't see that one recently, so. Why do you keep dying? You're full. It's where they, uh, it, it, it turns out their cousins are ghosts. It's hard, too, because sometimes you put something, and then you go down, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that episode. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's like you have to redo it. Yeah. All right, episode twenty nine. I'll just I'll just say overall episode twenty nine. Attack of the Jack O' Lanterns. So that's where uh, Drew and Walker and Shane and Shayna they go trick or treating. You know, like her friends come from out of town and they're like, "Oh, we have this like great trick or treating spot." And then she takes oh, they them. Turn into aliens? There's like jack o' lantern people, and basically, like, they force them to like trick or treat forever. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, what is it called again? Attack of the Jack o' Lanterns. Oh my god, I keep dying. Do you want me to get you a pen? Do you want me to get you a pen? Like, it's like there's the ink is full. Do you, do you want me to get you a pen? But it just keeps dying. Like, it doesn't want to write. That's what you get for buying your pens at the dollar store. Don't buy your pens from dollar store. Yeah. Blasted Dollarama. Yeah, what you pay for. <sighs> Attack of the Jack o' Lanterns. Next, Haunted Mask Part 2. So this is uh, where one of the bullies from Part 1, he gets the mask, but it makes him into like a old, old man. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes them like uh... I don't know. Should it tied with the part one? I don't know. Can't. There's no ties here. There can be no ties. So yeah. So it's like, and then the the mask that Carly Beth wore in the first episode comes back, but it goes. It attaches itself to the, the shopkeeper. shopkeeper. Okay. Next. 
let's get invisible. This is the one they find in, they find a secret room in their house and there's a mirror and every time there's a mirror with a light and every time they turn on the light, they go invisible. That's a... All right. Next episode 14, Scarecrow walks at midnight. Yeah. Yeah, see that's why it's hard cuz sometimes you sometimes you put something and then you're like, "Oh, I forgot about that one." That's okay. Like I've you, just put might. Whoops. You can you can switch them around. Uh, next, we got another heavy hitter, Monster Blood. Um. So it's where uh, Evan. No, Evan. Does that include the monster? No, nope, that's gonna be separate. So that one I'm gonna count as separate because uh, uh, it. Okay, so um. So that one I'm gonna count as a different one because that one it's called more monster blood, and it's not necessarily the same story. Like it's not a continuation. So even though it's the second part of that story, it's it's not. A continuation of the first one it's a different setting with totally different characters so yeah so that's the next one more more monster blood yeah so the whole premise of monster blood is it's like slime and it continues to grow and it uh, it just kind of absorbs everything around it it's kind of the premise. Monster Blood. It's a cool, that's a cool name. So yeah, it keeps, uh, and again, this one is about kind of about witches. And then the monster blood just kind of envelops everything around it. And they're trying to get rid of it. The dog eats some of it. All right, are you ready for the next one? All right, episode 36, Vampire Breath. So, again, uh, yeah. Freddy and Kara find a bottle that releases an elderly vampire who lost his fangs. So he's chasing them around trying to get his fangs back. But they're called... A vampire breath. All right, next, uh, episode thirty seven How to Kill a Monster. So Gretchen Hughes and Clark Bortensky stay at their grandparents' house in the middle of a swamp that has a seemingly invisible monster locked in a room. And uh, I think I do remember... The monster was pretty cool in this episode. I think I remember the monster being pretty cool. Alright, next, 38, Calling All, all Creeps. 
Oh, is that the one where they make cookies and like they turn into like creeps? Yeah, so this kid keeps getting bullied and he has a prank to get back uh, at his bullies. So he puts an ad in the paper advertising, calling all creeps. So like random weirdos will call the bullies at all hours of the night. But it 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 turns out that the bullies are actually aliens called creeps and then now they think he's like the supreme commander and he wants they want him to turn everybody else into creeps but he doesn't want to do it yeah, so uh, they make cookies yeah I remember yeah that. next welcome to dead house the benson family moves into a house in a neighborhood where its residents were killed in an accident from a chemical factory and want the family's blood to survive oh, yeah that was a good one the girl was like, oh, I need to eat you. Yeah. What's the call again? Welcome to Dead House. Welcome to Dead House. Hmm. Yeah, I like that episode. That episode's a little creepy because it's almost like a home invasion episode. All right, next, Don't Wake Mummy. So this is the episode where the mummy from the first one, I think it, it gets sent. Uh, the dad sends it to his family, and he sends the sarcophagus to his family, and then the mummy wakes up, and the mummy is chasing them around the house. It's, it's basically a mummy in the suburbs. Mummy in the suburbs. All right, episode 42. Blob that ate everyone. So that's where uh, Zach, he finds a typewriter and everything he types on the typewriter comes to life. And then eventually he creates a blob that eats everyone, so to speak. Forty three and forty four Night of the Living Dummy Part three. This episode stars a very young Anakin Skywalker, Hayden Christensen as Zane. So this is where uh There's multiple dummies. There's multiple dummies running around the house. Rocco, remember Rocco? Yeah, I really I, I thought he was like Rocky at first. Hmm. There's a lot of slappy episodes. Yeah, because slappy is like almost like the... The main one. Yeah. It's the main Goosebump character. That's why I said, just get slappy to represent all Goosebumps. Like, you don't need everybody. He's the main one. There's like, what, five different episodes just about him? This is in the one that he marries the bride. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. All right, season three. Shocker on Shock Street. Erin and her friend Marty are trapped in an amusement park based on a horror movie series. So they're running around an amusement park. Or not an amusement... It's it's an amusement park. It's like... Uh, I don't remember that one. It's like Universal <laughs> Studios. It's kind of like that. Like they're on movie sets and stuff. And then uh, the ending is that they're robots. A lot of these had like uh, twist endings. All right, 46. My best friend is invisible. Sammy visits a house that's supposedly haunted by the ghost of a lonely boy named Brent. Who ends up following his, him home and becomes his invisible friend. My best friend is invisible. Uh, 
if you're still uh, listening. I hope you're enjoying this episode. Hopefully, hopefully you're you're following along. We're 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 getting close to the end. We got a, we got a couple more to go. Getting close to the end. Keep mixing them up. I think too with the. Um, are you afraid of the dark? I'm like, is that goosebumps or is that are you afraid of the maybe dark? Maybe that could maybe that could be another another episode or maybe we could do this with Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes. The only thing I'm not as familiar with Are You Afraid of the Dark? Because with Goosebumps I watched all the episodes multiple times and I read all the books. Like I read every single Goosebumps book. Maybe not I read most maybe of the yeah, like maybe not every single book, the but only I two read I have most is of the girl cram monster and let's get invisible. The rest yeah, I gave to maybe. your mom when Maybe I, I don't know if she still has them. All right, the house of no return. Mis- mischievous friends Lori, Nathan, and Robbie convince the new kid in town, Chris, to join their club, Danger Inc. The catch is Chris must spend one hour in an old house, allegedly haunted by the ghosts of a married couple who died in the house. However, soon the yeah, it's a, it's a haunted house thing. Whatever. Uh, the house in no return. It's a... It's a haunted house thing. There's ghosts in the house. This isn't actually taking as long as I thought it would. Uh... Episode 48, Don't Go to Sleep. So, this episode... Is we just where one Matt. Last night. Yeah, we just watched this one last night. So Matt, he wants to move his room into the attic because mm-hmm. he's tired of his older siblings getting everything. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. So he's tired of his siblings, older siblings getting everything. So he goes in the attic. And he says, "I hate reality." Yeah, and then he and starts. The reality he's, police. Yeah. Yeah, and then he starts going in all kinds of different things where he becomes a heart surgeon and then he becomes a hockey player and then he becomes a bomb detector diffuser yeah episode 49 click seth gold mail orders a remote control that controls his tv vcr his stereo and as he discovers reality itself at the gradual mm. cost of the remote taking over his mind. That's a so, good one. This is basically all good. this is ba- nice. this is basically the Adam Sandler movie click. Um, Pretty much. Saw, yeah. yeah, if you saw that movie, then you know what this is about. Except this came first. This came way before click. That movie. All right, an old story. While being babysat by their aunt Dahlia. Tom and John are forced to eat prune cookies, which turn them into old men as part of a plot to get sold out to two of Aunt Dahlia's widow friends who want husbands. That's a funny episode. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't make a part two to that because, like, I don't know. I would have liked to see, like, the mom come home and be, like, you know, like, seeing the baby like her her baby as a baby again instead of a teenager like you're supposed to be well it's it's it's, it's ambiguous yeah barking ghost cooper holmes and his new friend fergie ferguson are tricked into switching bodies with ghostly canines uh i'm not i'm not gonna read the whole premise it's it's two kids they get turned into dogs no it's a call though Barking Ghost. Hmm. Episode 52 and 53. One Day at Horrorland. This is where a family... Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. I forgot about yeah, that bro. one. The game show. So that's where a family are on a road trip. Dang, bro. They stop uh. They stop at a theme park and they get chased around the theme park by... Okay, I'm sorry. They're called go. Horrorland Horrors. 
Um, they get chased around Horrorland by these horror uh, horrors. One night at Horrorland. Yeah. Uh, one day at Horrorland. And then they ep- they end up on a game show for monsters. It's crazy. I'm sorry, this one is not. Alright, the Haunted House game. Two friends play a Haunted House themed board games that come to life, and it may cost them theirs. Oh, I forgot about that one too. See, I thought that was. Are you for the dark? I know, bro. It's hard. Okay, now I gotta redo all this. Um... Shoot. Okay. What's it called again? Uh, the haunted house game. See, it's it's hard. This is hard, dear listeners, because sometimes you forget about an episode. So then you put something higher and then you hear an episode and then you're like, oh, crap, I forgot about that one. I want to put that here. And then it's by that point, it's too late. Or you could change you could change it. Like, you could change it for sure. Should but... do this in pencil so we can erase it or. I know that would have been better. White out. But I didn't think this would be like as hard as it is. All right. All right. Episode 55 and 56, A Perfect School. Uh, There's a kid. He gets sent to like a military academy because he's a delinquent. So his parents send him to a military academy. And he suspect that the teachers are replacing the kids with clones that are perfectly obey their parents. And then he's trying to uncover... He's trying to uncover this plot. Was it perfect school? Perfect school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for the next one? We're getting close, man. There's like only a couple spots left. Werewolf skin. Uh, that's. 5758 visiting his aunt and uncle in rural wolf, wolf wolf creek not that wolf creek we're not talking about mick taylor uh photographer alex blackwell discovers the secret about the werewolves that live in the woods so it's another it's another werewolf story what's it called werewolf skin Uh, not to uh, confuse it with the movie with Mick Taylor. That's a totally different movie. Something for another day. All right, number 15. Awesome ants. Dave buys an ant farm but feeds the ants incorrectly, turning, turning them into bloodthirsty giants. Giant ants. The, the, twist, oh. the twist, listeners, is that the end of this episode, it turns out that this whole episode was just a dream. So basically, he feeds the ant these like miracle pellets, and it makes them grow bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The twist ending is that it turns out that everything was just a dream, and in actuality, humans live in ant farms, and ants are giant. And that's like reality. That's like the world. So you see the ants putting in the pellets, and then he's he's talking to people, and he's like, oh, I had a dream that like, Ants were little and humans were big. And they're all like, ants little? Ha ha ha, that's silly. The ants have always been huge. And we're the little ones. And all the humans live in an ant farm. Oh, what is it called again? Awesome ants. It's sort of an interesting premise. Yeah. Episode 60... Our last Slappy entry, Bride of the Living Dummy. Ah, oh, yes. Slappy. Slappy sees uh Again, like... 
Again, listeners, think of Bride of Chucky. Think of Bride of Chucky, but for kids. Episode 61, Strained Peas. Nicholas Morgan discovers that his new baby sister, Grace, is actually a monster who will do whatever it takes to be an only child. Mm. Remember we were watching this uh, before we had Violet? We were watching it with Emma and we were kind of like, what if Violet's like that? Like we were telling her. We're like, what if Violet's like that? What if Violet can talk and she's actually evil? Yeah. Episode 62. Say cheese and die again. Um, this one I don't remember that well. It's a sequel to Say Cheese and Die. So he goes back and gets the camera. Because uh, he writes a book report about it and his teacher doesn't believe him. Uh, This episode famously replaced all of the cast from the first one. So Ryan Gosling does not return. Uh, Alright, this is our only three-parter. 63, 64, and 65 trilogy. So this is where there's like a model town. Uh, and there's, a there's like, I don't know what he is. He's like a little man that lives in the town. His name is Carl and he traps the kids inside the town and he's, he's chasing them around the town. What's that called? Trilogy. So he's chasing them around the town and there's all kinds of stuff. Girl gets picked, turned into a pig. Uh, kid is playing baseball. Uh, So can I tell you something interesting about this episode? What? About these three episodes. These three episodes that are, it's like a three-parter. Uh-huh. These, this is the only episode that was not based off a book. Hmm. There's no book for this. There's no trilogy book. This was exclusive to the TV show. All right, so this is the one you alluded to earlier, uh, Teacher's Pet. Becca Thompson and Benji Connor on a field trip to the woods find out why their new science teacher loves snakes so much. Is basically their science teacher is a mad scientist and he's making chimeras or he's trying to make chimeras. Um, he's trying to make chimeras. This episode... I, I, I don't want to say this episode is famous... Because I feel like that's the wrong way to phrase this. I think this episode is known because the actress that played uh, Becca died very shortly after the episode was filmed. She had actually passed away before the episode was even finished being edited and made. She passed away. So when they released the episode, they dedicated it to her. Uh, What was the actress's name? Michelle Michelle Reese, who died of meningitis uh, following its production at 16 years old. So, uh, wow. yeah, so very sad. Um, she did really good in the movie then for her to be sick. In the episode? Mm-hmm. Well, she wasn't sick at the time, I don't think. Oh. All right. We're getting real close to the finish line. Season 4, episode 67 and 68, How I Got My Shrunken Head. So, kid is afraid of everything. He gets a head that supposedly has powers. And then... uh, So he goes to like, uh, like, I, I don't know, he goes to like a, like a, like a village in like the rainforest or whatever. And then it turns out that the, the ancient powers were inside him. He goes in the jungle and then his aunt is in the jungle. Cool. 
cool. All right, 69 and 70, the ghosts next door. So, Hannah. So, Hannah meets a kid who she thinks is really weird. She thinks he's she thinks he's really weird. And then she meets his family. And then his family's really weird. Like she goes to their house and their oven is all dirty and has no power. So she thinks the little boy that she meets is a ghost. Because like he goes to their house and they have no power. They have no electricity. And she keeps saying like, well, yeah, if they're ghosts, they wouldn't have electricity. And their house is dirty, so they're ghosts. The twist is that she's actually a ghost. And uh, she thinks he's a ghost, but she's a ghost. And, you know, like, he kind of explains everything to her, like, and then he rationalizes it. Well, yeah, we have no power because we just moved here. They haven't turned on our electricity yet, or they haven't turned on our gas yet, or whatever. Uh... So, yeah. All right. Cry of the Cat. So, this is about a teen actress who gets scratched by something and it turn it, she starts to slowly turn into a cat person and then the last one 73 74 deep trouble so two kids there's always two kids they visit their uncle and it turns out their uncle is making like sea monsters. It's always two people, huh? It's like, well, <laughs> a kid and the sibling, yeah, like or it's, two, well, a kid and a friend, or a kid and uh, yeah, they you know they generally like to have a like a boy and a girl. All right, that's it. So we are done. That is every episode of Goosebumps ranked. So now we're gonna go through our list. So, oh, what we'll, so what we'll do is we'll start at 56, and then I'll say my 56, and 56. then we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Ugh. So I'll say mine, and then you say yours, and then we'll see how many we match on. Probably right? not many, but well, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So, all right. So we're going to, listeners, if you ranked this, if you ranked these episodes along with us, dear listeners... Uh, follow along and how see many did you get right how us? many did you match how many did you match with me or how many did you match with amanda Whoa. all right so for my number 56 i picked perfect school oh. i i sort of did not like this episode at all i thought this episode was boring i got return of mummy what I don't like that episode that much. What? I don't like the mummy. What? It's creepy. It's what? Just, you know. put Return of the Mummy at last place? Yeah. We're not gonna match. We're not gonna match on any of these. All right. Probably not. All right. For my fifty, for my fifty-five, I picked Barking Ghost. I'll put say cheese. The first one. Yeah. What? One, it's the only one that would fit what? small enough there. And oh two, I don't God. like that one very much with the camera. And yeah. Wow. Um, all right. 54. I picked the, is it Go Eat Worms? I guess. Okay. Well, for my 54, I picked Go Eat Worms. I put How I Got My Shrunken Head. Okay. Uh, 53, it came from beneath the sink. I put the sponge at 53. Yo, no way. That one's high It's a for sponge. Me. It's a sponge. I like that episode. It's a sponge. You just kick it. You would just kick it. It's a sponge. Oh, I love that episode. What did Why you pick? say cheese and die again? Oh, my God. Okay. I did not like those episodes okay. very much. Uh, 52, don't sleep. Don't go to sleep? Oh, yeah, don't go to sleep. Sorry, it's because I had to take out some of the words to make it fit. So, yeah, don't go to sleep. Oh, I mine's put... deep trouble. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I put uh, don't go to sleep for 52 just again. 
episode that I didn't particularly like. Uh, 51, Awesome Ants. No, mine's Trilogy. Okay. <laughs> I would not uh, match any. We're not, so far we're not doing good. Uh, 50, The Blob That Ate Everyone. Mine's Werewolf Skin. Whoa. I don't like the Werewolf ones, okay. they're too creepy. Uh, 49, I put House of No Return. Oh my god, I put Ghost Next Door. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. All right. This one I know we're not going to match on. No. I know we're not matching on this one. 48, Calling All Creeps. Oh, my God. I don't like that episode, bro. I don't like like that episode. We were close on the awesome ants. Mm. All right. 47, Werewolf Skin. Um, Barking Ghost. Okay. Did I put... Yeah, I had Barking Ghost way lower. Uh, Episode 46... Or episode 46, number 46, I put click. Oh, I put cuckoo clock of doom. I think I had that. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, click. Just again, it's a, it's 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 not a new premise. It's It's been done. Yeah, I it's still not liked a, it, though. I liked it. Not, I didn't, I liked it. I didn't love it. Uh, 45, how to kill a monster. Uh, 46, uh, 45, uh, how to kill a monster. Perfect score. Okay, yeah, you had perfect school way higher. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't just, I don't know, How to Kill a Monster was just always one of those episodes that, like, so, like, my my ranking was, I I, I ranked it based of how much was I downing. As a kid, how much was I downing when this episode came on? And How to Kill a Monster was one that I just... I have that one a little bit higher. I never particularly loved that one. Uh, (laughs) 44... I had say cheese and die again. Yeah, I just did not like this second part as much That's as the first part. That's why I have it lower, but mine is... What do you have for 44? The blob that eats everyone. Wow, so you had it a little higher than me, eh? Yeah. I liked it a little bit better. Okay. Uh, 43, uh, I had Chilogy. Oh, I have Cry of the Cat. Cry of the Cat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 43. Uh, yeah, this is just was three parts. Didn't think it was particularly good. Mm, uh, that's why it's so low for me. 42, Teacher's Pet. Mm. What did you have for 42? Ghost Beach. What? No way. Yeah. Wow. For my 41, Ghost Beach. <laughs> oh, we my were so close. Shocker on Shock Street. We were so close. I was thinking of putting Teacher's Pet a little uh, bit lower just because of the whole snake. I don't like the whole snake, but the the whole idea of the plot, I liked, but I just didn't like the snake part. That's why it's kind of low and not a lot higher, but okay. it's still relatively high. Okay. Because um, I did like the, the episode. I like the actors. I like the plot. I just didn't like the whole Teacher and the Snake part because I do not like snakes at all. All right, for number 40, I had A Night in Terror Tower. Oh, I have Go Eat Worms. It's just, okay, A Night at Terror Tower is just, it gets very confusing. There's a lot of time travel stuff. It gets very confusing. Yeah, I have a little bit higher Um, just because I like it a little little bit, like the whole plot, but. For 39, I had Strain Peas. Oh, I have Don't Like Mummy. I I like the premise I like the premise of uh, an evil baby. I don't know. Uh, I have it a little bit higher. Okay. Uh, 38, I have Deep Trouble. I have Teacher's Pet. So, yes, Deep Trouble. Then one of those episodes that I, I was kind of downing when it came on. Uh, 37, I have Shock Street. Mm, I have Piano Lessons Can't Be Murder. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, for my 36... I have my best friend is invisible. I have headless ghosts. <laughs> All right, thirty five. I have. Uh, I I don't remember what the whole episode is called, but the the house game. Oh, the haunted house game. Haunted house game. I yeah. had that way higher. Jeez. I had that at thirty five. I have a night in terror tower. Okay, uh, thirty four. My thirty four was cry of the cat. Oh wow, mine's. Yeah. Mine is How to Kill a Monster. I, I put Cry of the Cat so high because I liked 
the prosthetics in this episode. Like, I like the practical effects in this episode. I don't remember that one too much. That one's a little bit... That's why it's a little bit Um, lower. 33, Uh, I had old story. Ooh, that one's higher for me. Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Okay. Yeah, the old story one, it's interesting. It's just not very scary. That's why, like, I couldn't put it higher. Mm, Yeah, I guess. Uh, 32, I had... My 32 was Don't Wake Mummy. Oh, my 32. House of No Return. Okay. Um, 31, Dead House. String Peas. Yeah, oh, you put that a little higher? Yeah, I like the, the evil, evil baby. baby. Yeah! I like it. I like a nice evil baby, right? Yeah. I like a nice whole, evil baby. Like, and it's just creepy with Claire, and, like, just, she wants to, like, take over, and, yeah. I just, yeah. I don't know, I like it. All right, so where are we at? 30? 30, yeah. Vampire Breath. I have my best friend's invisible. The friend's invisible. Yeah, because I like that one. Again, I, there's some fun stuff in Vampire Breath. Um, that one's higher for me. Gee. All right, twenty nine, Monster Blood. Click. That's where I put click. Again, I like Monster Blood. Don't love it. Uh, twenty eight. I had the Haunted Mask Part Two. Ooh. Yeah, it's just my again, hair adventure. I don't like Part Two as much as. Part one. I don't know. Did I even put part two on here? What did I miss it? But where did I put it? So that was that was what? That was twenty eight? Yeah, I don't have part two on here. Oh yeah, I do okay. Uh twenty seven werewolf mm. of fever swamp. Mm, that's where I put don't go to sleep. Wow, okay. Yeah, you had that way higher than me. Yeah, because I really like that episode. Uh, 26, I had My Hairiest Adventure. Old story. Only because I like the ending where the people turn around and they have eyes and mouse on the back of their head and it's mm. all hair. I don't know. Uh, 25, I had Let's Get Invisible. Oh, that's my number one. Don't don't tell me. <laughs> I don't have tell Bride me. Of the Living Dummy. Bro, you can't tell me what your number one is. Oh, sorry. Bride of the Living Dummy. Alright. Uh, 24 more. Only because mo- I just didn't, I don't know. 24 more Monster Blood. I have Welcome to Dead House. Yeah, I just, I like more Monster Blood better. The setting, having it take place on an airplane, just gives it like a totally different atmosphere. I still I, like it though. I like the characters a little better. So it's higher for me. Uh, 23, I had how 24, I got... 24, right? No, no 24 was... Okay, yeah, 23. 23 yeah, is how I had, how I got my shrunken head. Oh, I have a calling all creeps. I, I just, I like I like this episode. It, it's, it's different. It's not great. It's not scary, but it's like, it's a fun Indiana Jones style adventure. Meh. Uh, 22, I had Headless Ghost. Vampire Breath. Wow, okay. I really like that episode. Yeah, with the Vampire little girl Breath. and yeah. Uh, 21, I had Bride of the Dummy. 21, I had Cuckoo Clock of Doom, but then I was like, ah, oh, shoot. And I switched it to One Day at Horrorland because okay. I really liked it. It's a good episode. Yeah. Uh, my number 20 is Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. No, oh, mine's Phantom of the Auditorium. Wow, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 19, The Ghost Next Door. I had Say Cheese, but then I switched it to the Haunted House game. Okay. Yeah. Because I like that uh, one. We're getting there. We're, we're, we're past the top 20 now. Number 18, I had Stay Out of the Basement. Oof. I have Night of the Lemon Dummy 3. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I like the slappy episodes, but they're not like... You know, they're not your favorite? Yeah. They're like, I don't know. Okay. And I didn't uh, know where else to put them because I didn't want to switch too much around. But like, maybe I would have put it a little bit higher. I don't know. Uh, 17, I had Say Cheese and Die. I have Haunted Mask too. I like the first Say Cheese and Die a lot, dude. Um, 16, A Day at Horrorland. Attack of the jack o I, I really like it, the Horrorland episode. Uh, 15, Cuckoo Clock of Doom. I like this episode, man, because... You can't scare me. This kid basically... He basically travels back in time and makes his little sister not exist and then leaves her that way. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that's See, I had terrifying. it at number 14, Cuckoo Clock at Doom, but then I switched it to number 21, and then I switched it to 46. That's, that's terrifying. Um, yeah. Number 14, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Well, that's where I have more monster blood. More monster blood? Yeah, well, I, yeah. I crossed off the so Cuckoo you like, Clock and put more monster so you, blood. You like more monster blood more oh, than the first one? I love, yeah. Like, on the airplane? Like, that's the airplane one. Yeah, where they go in the seats and they'll... The kid, yeah, the, yeah. I there's like, like there. It, it's got all the kids where they're all like, uh, they're all like tropes. Like there's, there's nerd and bully and yeah. girl. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. Um, on lucky thirteen, our our thirteen's gonna match. Maybe. Scarecrow walks at midnight. Oh, bad hair day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have that one higher. I like that episode. Oh, no. Uh, I messed up. I'm sorry. Because I, I did a little switcheroo. So actually, for thir I, I switched it. So I switched uh, Scarecrow walks at midnight with be careful what you wish for. So be careful what you wish for is my 13. And Scarecrow walks at midnight is my 12. Ah, I have bad hair day for 13. Be careful what you wish for for 12. Oh, we <laughs> almost matched. Almost. Wow. Almost. That's twice we almost matched. Like one right. one number ahead, one number behind each other. 11. You can't scare me. Monster blood. I like that. Oh, so you put monster blood higher than more monster blood. Yes. I like the second part better. I like the second one way better. I like the first one better, just because the creepy aunt, or is it the aunt, or is it the grandmother? It's aunt. Yeah, just because, I don't know, she's just, she creeps me out. She gives me the chills. I'm like, oh, like the heebie-jeebies, you know? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I like You Can't Scare Me. Yeah. I like the premise, and I, I think the mud monsters are cool. We're not going to match on any of them, I don't think. Uh, Number 10, Return of the Mummy. Mm. It's like a mummy in Egypt, in a pyramid. It came from beneath the sink. Wow. You, I really like you that You put one. Evil Sponge at number 10? Yeah, I wow. like that episode. It used to creep me out for the longest time. Wow. I remember I wouldn't do the dishes for the longest time because the sponge creeped me the heck out as a kid. And my mama yeah. asked me to do the dishes and I'm like, no, the sponge is going to eat me. Dear, I wouldn't do the dishes for a long time. Dear listeners, she put a sponge over everything else. All right, number nine. We're we're crossing the threshold. We're past the top ten. Number nine, Night of the Living Dummy Part Two. Oh, stay out of the basement. Wow. Okay, you had that much higher than me. Yeah. Uh, all right, number eight. I had Bad Hair Day. <sighs> Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know. If I like Bad Hair Day. I like the. I just. Me I like too. That that's one. why it's my number thirteen. Uh, number seven, I had Phantom of the Auditorium. Oh, Night of the Living Dead 2. Wow. Or the Living, Living Dummy 2. Yeah. All right. Number six, Girl Who Cried Monster. Attack of the Mutant. Okay, well. Number five, Attack of the Mutant. <laughs> oh, that's the third time. We're so close by one number. Yeah. My number five is Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Okay. Yeah, my number five was Attack of the Mutant because it's like superheroes and supervillains and comic books, so that's right up my alley. I was alley. thinking five but, and then switching Revenge of the Long Gnomes and Attack of the Mutant. I was thinking it, but I'm like, mm, the Long Gnomes are creepier than the, the Mutant, I guess. Yeah, I like the Mutant's not scary, but it's I remember just... watching Revenge of the Long Gnomes when I was a kid and like anybody that had a Long Gnome... Like, I wouldn't go to their house trick-or-treating. I, I I wouldn't, like, go to their house at all. Like, I was just so scared of long gnomes for, like, the longest time. Because watching that as a kid, like, I was, like, this was when I was, like, I, I don't know. I was, like, I want to say, like, nine, maybe ten. I don't know. Maybe younger. Um, and I was just, like, I was so creeped out. My neighbor had a bunch of long gnomes. And, like, I was just, I was so creeped out. And I'm, like, oh, my God, they're going to come out a lot alive and i'm like oh and i was so i just it's just so creepy yeah all right yeah number four number four i had camp nightmare 
Welcome to I Camp have Nightmares. Scarecrow rocks at midnight. I again that one scared the crap out of me. That was a creepy one. That was a creepy one. I wouldn't go near scarecrows. I never went near on farms. I I wouldn't go near anywhere for for a very long time because it would scare the crap out of me. All right, top three. I, I, match. I think systematically, like mathematically, I think there's no way for us to match. No. Uh, number three, I had Dummy Part 3. I have Haunted Mask. Bro. Yeah, I had Dummy 3. Part 3 is my favorite of the Slappy Saga. Um, yeah. Nope. I don't know. I should have put it a little Slappy a little bit higher. Number two. The Girl Who Cried Monster. You know my number one and my number two. Are the, let's get some invincible. Two. And the Girl Cry Monster. Those are my all-time favorite Goosebumps. My I have their books upstairs. I watched them over and over and over and over and over again as a kid. Like, those are my top two viewed um, Goosebumps. Like, I would watch them all the time. Just because I just, I don't know. I just, I love reading books as a kid. So I would always be in the library. You still like reading books, though. Yeah. You still read a lot. So the, the Girl Cry Monster was, like, my all-time favorite one because it just took place in a library and then let's get invisible i just loved it because the whole like having the whole like being with the friend vibe and like trying like wanting to be invisible and doing whatever you want like i used to think i was invisible all the time when i was a kid and i could do whatever i want me and my friends would try to go to the store and like we'd just pretend we'd be invisible all the time so it was like my all two time favorite goosebumps Okay, so my number two, uh, Haunted Mask. Ah, oh, see, number two. This three. episode's creepy. I like this a lot. And listeners, if you're following along, by process of elimination, you could probably tell my my number one is Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. It's my favorite Goosebumps episode. It's the book I remember reading the most. Like, I can still see that book in my head that cover that had like yellow and orange uh, and it was just yeah i don't know that just that episode always creeped me out i thought the lawn gnomes were very creepy again it's like they're creepy as a child but then when you're like an adult you kind of realize well they're ceramic i just pushed them i just right. pushed them over and then they're like all oh, so cute they're like oh they're so cute but, but you it, wouldn't yeah. want like a hundred of them in your yawn but it lawn, was so it yawn, was so yawn, cre- it was so creepy uh yeah so we matched like none, but we, were, <laughs> we matched. No we were episodes. close, like about yeah. about five. We did I not think. match any on any. Five of them what? were like you know what, one though? number off. That's okay, you know, because that shows uh, our like, horror tastes are a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, like which <laughs> which is good, you know, like it's it's good, like it it wouldn't be good if we just matched on everything. Yeah, like if we just liked all the same thing, it, it's it's good that. You know, you like things slightly different than me. Like, you find a sponge more scary than a mummy. Who would have guessed? Hmm. So, okay, so that's Thinking it. Thinking back to your, like, your 9, 10-year-old self when you first watched them, you're like, holy crap, you know? So like, same with, like, when I first watched Ghost Ship. Like, it terrified me. Like, that, that big dong, like, on the clock. Like, it terrified me. I jumped out of my seat. And then now when I watch Ghost Ship, I'm like, I know it's there. So I'm just like, oh, it just still creeps me out a little bit. But it doesn't scare me as much as it did when I watched first watched it when I was little. All right. So, yeah, that is the episode, dear listeners. Uh, this is, I don't know if this episode, this episode might be our my longest, our longest. This might be longer than uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't know. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Nah, it was all right. It was we just all right. Do, we should do the. We should do the. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Um, the. Um, are you afraid of the dark? It's just again like I'm not as familiar with. Are you afraid of the dark? Like I don't. I don't remember every single episode. I don't know if I saw every single episode. Because we've been watching them, right? I was like, I was like a Goosebumps kid, not just because the show, but because the books. Like I read the books, I collected the books. Like I was just like R.L. Stein, my favorite author. Me was yeah, I collected Goosebumps, Mary Kay and Ashley. Yeah. And then Babysitters Club. 
Yeah. For me, it was like Goosebumps and like Animorphs. Remember oh, Animorphs? Oh, Animorphs, yeah. Yeah. I, um, like... I watched the show more than I watched the, the read the books, but I like the books too. I read a few like, of the books. Like Goosebumps books. My brother read them more than I did, but like Goosebump books are what sort of started my horror journey. And like you know, like Goose Goosebumps book Goosebumps to me it's like it's like baby's first horror. It's like they're they're scary for kids. Like you find them for me, scary was, when you're kids. Don't f- are you afraid of the dark? Like you like you and I don't find goosebumps scary, but like maybe like a like a three year old would. Are are you afraid of the dark? I are you afraid of the dark was too scary for me. Which I know it's weird, but that was that was always like that was too scary. Like I was very I was a very scared as a kid. Like I was scared of everything. But yet you watched horror? Well <laughs> like, how does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't make sense at all. But because I liked it, though. But I I was scared of it, but I liked it. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like... <clears throat> so that's it. We didn't match on any. We were close on a few. We were close on a few. <laughs> we were we were close on a few, but... Um... So that's it. Uh, I don't know what the next episode will be. As always, I usually never know. I only thought of this. I only thought of this episode last night. Um, and then I thought like this would be fun, and it was fun. Uh, my plan is to try to get this episode on YouTube. There's obviously no video component, but what I think I want to do is. Maybe maybe I'm gonna upload the episode and I'll I'll just put like an image, and uh, so you'll be able to see it on YouTube. But there's no visual component. It'll just be like the podcast thumbnail. I think maybe that's what it'll be for now. I still got a. I'm still working out a couple kinks on the visual component. Um, you know, just kind of getting the proper space. And then, you know, like I record with my phone and then I have another phone that I use to uh, have if I need to look something up or whatever. So it would just be like getting another device. It, it'll it'll happen at some point, but um, I think that's going to be the plan in the meantime. As always, uh, subscribe to this episode. Uh, you know, subscribe to this episode. Go back and check out... Uh, past episodes uh you know i we we covered a wide variety of topics here like we talked about everything from aquaman to goosebumps to jujitsu kaisen to masters of the universe so you know it's it's a variety show and that's what i said it was going to be from the very beginning should uh, do like a rank in horror movies or something i don't know yeah that's, like that'll be too many i think well, but um, maybe we could do, but uh, well, maybe there's still a lot of horror movies I have not seen. But maybe we could, uh, maybe we could do like uh, ranking like the Friday the Thirteenth series, or like ranking the, you know what I mean? Like we don't have to, they like, can't do all the horror movies, but maybe we could do them by like series. If that's a fun idea, mm. you know, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. So, or yeah, ranking anime or something. Yeah, we, yeah, we mm-hmm. could do we could do that. Um, Sailor Moon's like my all-time favorite anime. It's pretty Sailor good. Sailor Moon, car characters. Yeah, those are two. Are like tied for one. Like I can't really choose which one's my number one. So I like them both as a kid. So. Those are two very good ones. Uh, full transparency. I we are recording this episode uh, after I worked last night, and I have not gone to bed yet, and I am very tired. I am very, very tired. So I think we're going to wrap it up here. Again, as always, thank you so much. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, Matitude22, where I do figure reviews and unboxings and tons of other stuff. So you can find me there. As always, I am also on Facebook at Matitude22 Figure Reviews. That is always the best place to find me right now. Uh, I'm... I'm on multiple YouTube channels. You can catch me every Monday night on Clickbait Wrestling. 
where we talk about wrestling. If you couldn't tell, then uh, I don't know. And every Friday on the Sanctuary YouTube channel. So you can find me in multiple places. Again, I'm, you can find me in the Sanctuary Facebook group. You can find me in the Clickbait Wrestling Facebook group. You can find me on places. I, I, do, I know I keep saying this. I say this every episode. There, there will be a Facebook group for this podcast. Uh, I just haven't gotten there yet. I keep saying that. It'll happen. So just kind of bear with me. Thank you, everybody. Life happens. Uh, yeah. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all your support on each and every episode. I do so much appreciate that. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And I uh, can't really say I will see you in the next episode, but you'll hear my voice in the next episode. Remember, we do an episode every other Monday, but sometimes we do do bonus episodes. Uh, so... I will catch up with you guys in two weeks. Thank you so much. Enjoy pop culture and bye.